Hello, this is Zach with Coach Hawk, and today we're going to use uh, ChatGPT to write a programming script, something that a programmer could easily do, but this hopefully will be faster. And for those of you that are not programmers, this is an easy way to add programming to your daily life without having to know a whole lot about it. So the situation is I downloaded the transcripts from a YouTube uh, video file. And notice it has this timestamp. Every one or two seconds, three seconds, there's a timestamp. And it's not a big deal um, to, to remove those, uh, especially what I'm going to use it for is I want GPT to summarize this uh, transcript for me. Now, if you're interested in learning how to use ChatGPT, MidJourney, ManyChat, and many things, many more, feel free to like this video, subscribe, and let's make a script for non-developers that's going to remove the timestamp for us, and we're going to do it all first time right now, live. All right, let's get started. So let's go to ChatGPT. Notice we have a new tab here. And what we're going to do is first we're going to prompt it what we want. I need a JavaScript uh, program that will remove the YouTube, if I can spell, YouTube video transcripts and snap. The data looks like Ah, there we go. Looks like this. So now what we're going to do is we told it what we want. Now I'm just going to give it a sample of the data so that it knows what we want it to do. Okay, so I'm just going to copy a few lines. Notice this is about 800 lines long, and I don't want to waste uh, my character usage on timestamps. Okay, I could easily tell it to ignore those, but... This is a great way to see how you can use ChatGPT and programming to clean up data, do all kinds of things. And this is a really good example, or I hope it will be. <laughs> so now we put in the data. Now we tell it that we, um, we have a file named, and that's called uh, transcript.txt. And I want the cleaned data to be in and of course i misspelled cleaned there we go to be in cleaned uh, txt i need full instructions right in case you don't know how to do it we need full instructions on how to use and run this program make sure it is um, updated javascript now, you can use this to write Python and the other, and uh, you can use whichever programming language you're comfortable with. I'm a software engineer, and we use JavaScript, so that's what I have on my machine. But you can use any of them. Uh, ChatGPT will figure it out. All right, so we're going to go ahead and run it. And great. So first, it'll summarize, as you can see here. And... Now we need to make sure that we have Node installed on, the, on our system. If not, install it. And here it tells us even where to go. So how do we check to see if we have it? Well, you can open any terminal. Uh, notice I'm using VS Code, which is a uh, great IDE for working with scripts. You'll need something, although you don't have to have it. You can do Notepad. I would highly recommend uh, VS Code if you're not a programmer and install Node. And I would install... Uh, just the LTS version of Node, whatever it is at the time, and that's the best way to go. All right, so, and how do you check? You go to a terminal and you say Node-V. Notice I have 16, 16. I think the LTS now is 20, uh, but we work with more legacy code, so I need an older copy. All right, so now create a new JavaScript file and name it this. Well, if it'll let me copy, there we go, copy. And I'm just going to come right over here to my VS Code, tell it to make a new file, copy that. 
And then it says, add the following code. All right. Now we come down here and it says, save the file. Okay, right. we save it. Open the terminal. There's a terminal inside of VS Code, one of the reasons why I really like it. And make sure we're in the same file uh, directory. We are. And then we're going to copy this and run it. All right, file cleaned and saved as clean txt. Notice we got this new file, clean txt, and there it is. Notice we're down to 355 lines instead of what started off, I think, somewhere right at about 700, 705. So major impact on the length of data that you're going to ask ChatGPT to summarize. Oh, well. All right, and like I said, you get the instructions. This will be saved. You can use it when you have a need and you want to clean something up, change something, start with Chat GPT and see what you can do. If you like this content, please comment down below and just say yes. Also, like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. We're going to be making lots of AI technology videos coming up, Chat GPT, Mid Journey. Um, all kinds of video editing, music, how to use AI to change your, the, your life and the life of your family. Because it's been said that AI technology will create more millionaires in the next 18 months than it probably been created in the last 30. Let's make sure that you're one of them. Let's use ChatGPT and other tools to benefit your life. Thanks a lot. Thanks for subscribing. Have a great day.